G'day. I used to make salads that looked like they were straight from an infomercial, just like this. But it doesn't have to be that way. Today we're going to have a look at two very easy salads whose ingredients are completely interchangeable with each other and can also be easily substituted with your favorite veggies and greens, opening up thousands of salad possibilities. First step is fire up the oven to 350F or 180C because we are going to roast some veggies. Adding roast vegetables to a salad is a great way to add depth of flavor and texture. Here are some of our household staples, but you add whichever veggies you like. If you are going to do Brussels sprouts, cut them from top to bottom and then take out the core. Doing this ensures they cook more evenly and the core can be a little chewy. I'm going to do my Brussels sprouts with the broccoli, so cut the broccoli into similar sized pieces and chuck it in the bowl. For the other salad, I've used a quarter of a large butternut pumpkin in two half inch cubes. Same with a cauliflower into a bowl. When you're done, you should be left with about this much. Then grab yourself some oil, salt and pepper. We're liberally oiling each bowl, giving a couple of healthy pinches of salt and tossing until all of the veggies are coated evenly. From there, the pumpkin and cauliflower can go onto a parchment paper lined baking tray and off into the oven. For the Brussels sprouts and broccoli, I've got a preheated baking tray. And then making an effort to turn most of the Brussels sprouts so that they are face down on the hot baking tray. This is a great way to ensure we get crispy charred Brussels sprouts. And off to the oven they go. While those cook, we have more than enough time to assemble our other ingredients, the first of which being our dressings. If you are tempted to get a supermarket pre-made dressing, you will not only be ripping off your tongue, but your wallet. Both of these are super easy. For the first, into a bowl we'll add a cup of Greek yogurt, the juice of half a lemon, half a cup of chopped dill, a squirt of olive oil, and some freshly ground black pepper. And that is it. Super easy. For the next, into a jar, add half a cup of olive oil and half a cup of tahini. You may have noticed that my jar looks like a bowl, so I went and grabbed a jar and put the contents of the bowl into the jar. Then add two cloves of minced garlic, the juice of half a lemon, and a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Then shake the living shit out of your jar, and there you have it, another dressing done. Next, we have to choose our leafy greens. For these salads, I have chosen kale and chard, or silver beet. I've chosen these instead of, say, lettuce, because I want to be able to add the contents that have been roasting in the oven directly to the leaf. If we did this with lettuce, it would go brown and floppy, whereas these leafy greens leave us the possibility of serving the salad warm if we want to. To prepare them, we simply cut out the stalk, roll them up, and then cut them into bite-sized pieces. You'll know you have the right amount when you've filled the roast vegetable bowls to the same level with the loose packed leaf. From there, we hit them with a good drizzle of olive oil and then give them a very gentle massage. This softens up the greens, making them less tough, but also reduces their bitterness. With that all done, it is time for assembly. So the veggies come out of the oven and into big bowls. I decided that the Brussels sprouts would get the kale and the tahini, so I've decided to hit them with a little bit of red wine vinegar. Any type of acid is gonna play really well with the bitterness of the tahini and the kale. Now it is time to toss your own salad. Then we do a texture test, and if either of the salads needs a little pick-me-up in that area, we simply add nuts. You can add whichever nuts you like. For the pumpkin one here, I'm going to add some pine nuts. The last step before the introduction of our dressings is something sweet. This can be as simple as a drizzle of honey. Here I've got some cranberries and some goji berries, which I've got soaking in water. Drain off the water and add them to whichever salad you would like. Then we simply add our dressing and toss one more time and that is it. You can garnish if you like. I'm gonna add a little bit of grated parmesan to the top of the Brussels sprout salad. And just a reminder that everything in this salad can be swapped and changed. Find things that you like, add them in, take them out. Experiment. These are both really, really tasty. Are they as good as a steak? <coughs> what, no, it's a salad. 